So it says um, when 25 <coughs> mils of 1.0 molar uh, sulfuric acid is added to 50 mils of 1.0 molar sodium hydroxide at 25 degrees Celsius in a calorimeter, the temperature of the aqueous solution increases to 33.9 degrees Celsius. Assuming that the specific heat of the solution is 4.18 joules per grams degrees Celsius, that the density is 1.00 grams per mil, and that the calorimeter itself absorbs no amount of heat, calculate the delta heat of reaction in kilojoules for this reaction. Is the energy being gained or lost by the system? And the other thing we have to uh, imagine is that the volumes are strictly added. Okay? So, if you guys don't understand what that means, it's okay. But anyways, um, so let's write down the things that we know that it gives us. So, it gave us the initial temperature, so Ti, we'll say 25.0 degrees C. Okay. I'm adding that. And then it says TF gives us the temperature final is 33.9 degrees C. Gives us the specific heat of the solution, 4.18 joules per gram degree C. Uh, it gives us these concentrations. That's just to throw us off. Okay. But it does give us the volume. So it says 25.0 mils is added to 50.0 mils. Okay. So remember, I said the volumes are additive. That means that they, when they add together, they equal the amount that they add. Right. So they don't always do that when you're making solutions. So the volume here is going to be, what was it, 25.0 mils plus 50.0 mils that equals 75 mils. Okay? And it also gives us the density of the solution. So the density of the solution is 1.0 grams per mil. Okay, so I think that's all the stuff we need. We also need to remember, you guys remember the um, specific heat equation? Q equals C M delta T, right? So we've got, well, delta T, right, essentially here. We've got C, but I thought we were looking for delta H of the reaction. Is, that's not pictured here, is it? It's Q, right? Remember? So in fact, in this case, Q is delta H of the reaction. So I wanted to point that out to you. Okay, so let's... So... The other thing, so that's what we're looking for, but do we have the mass of this solution? Can we figure it out? We can figure it out how? Because we got what numbers? The volume and the density, right? So let's figure out the mass. So the mass is going to be 70, 75.0 mils. And what was it? 1.00 grams per one mil. Cancel, cancel. So, so we've got the mass. And remember, delta T is TF minus TI. So 33.9. Degrees C minus 25.0 degrees C. So that 
that's what, eight, seven point, I'm sorry, eight point nine degrees C, right? Okay, so we've got the change in temperature, we've got the mass, and we've got the specific heat, right? Should we be able to find the um, heat of the reaction? Yes. So, let's just plug it in. So let's do it together. So I'm going to put it over here so we've got some room. So we've got 4.1A joules per 1 gram degree C. We've got the mass, which is 75.0 grams. And we've got the change in temperature, which is 8.9 degrees C. But it didn't tell us we wanted it in kilojoules, right? <coughs> so what, if we multiply this out, what's it going to give it to us? Joules, right? So we, why don't we convert right now, okay? So, 1,000 joules per one kilojoule. Okay, so that should give us kilojoules, right? So let's cancel. Okay, come up with kilojoules. So, 8.9 times 75 times 4.18 divided by 1,000. Okay, and how many sig figs are we going to? Two, right? So, the delta H of this reaction is going to be plus 2.8. Is everybody okay with that? Did you guys get the same answer as me? Hopefully. If not, then one of us did something wrong. Okay, any questions on this one? So this is the main game. Pardon? Oh, yeah, so we want to talk about that. So, yeah, so. What's happening here is this um, uh, gaining energy or losing energy? Gaining, right? So gaining. 